Okay. Shante with brown sugar talks. Thursday, Friday, so it's the fry. Fry third. Friday. Anyway, it's Friday. So I am looking at what's going on as far as like we got two issues. One with Monique and Steve Harvey. And the thing with Monique and Steve Harvey, like, it's so much like my, like, sort of like my story because I was just in a situation with these people and, um, like, I just felt like they didn't have, they didn't know, they didn't know. And it was like, they was already, they were so ambitious. So it's like, whatever ambition I have, and what I'm saying is like, when, like, I always tell the story about me being in the department and me having to... I wrote this grant. They told me the grant was racist. And then it was like, I have, um, what else happened? Then I had, um, um, one of the theater people, one of the black theater people told me I was too black and just, well, okay. I ain't even going, cause it really don't matter. Um, and then I don't know. It was just like a lot of stuff happening. Anyway, so what happened is it's like I just left the department because I was already done with my degree anyway. So it was like the end of my degree. Then what they do is they get a a teacher to come in, a black teacher. And she decided she was like, yeah, this yeah, what they doing is not right. You know, like they really not doing the right thing. So what they did was after he had that meeting with us, he went ahead and hurried up. They hired a black teacher like right away because at that point the whole theater department became completely white so it was like okay they had to do the whole you know let's let's get somebody in here with some color or some lgbt you know whatever q committee or whatever you know so it was like they had to do something right and gay probably wasn't gonna be on the top priority so they had to go for for a black woman so they hired a black woman black woman or black man right so they hired a black woman and she was awesome but when she found out because she ended up having she died of a heart attack she had lupus when she found out um when they said something to her about me it was like well no you can't back that you can't back what she's saying and so um they just went ahead and just did a show and like i said like i always say and the motherfucker sold out every night so anyway i was upset like I was totally upset like I have been upset with the did not know I was upset until one day they called me the SIU alumni call and they were like you know um because I went through a lot I mean I was just like one person just like out of everybody even like I just did not relate to people at all like so I got upset because I'm just like I just can't I can't deal with this. Like, I would be pissed the fuck off. Like, it would just be like, and I don't, I never, I wouldn't always say something, you know, but it's just like, God damn it. Like, I'm about to, you know, you just get to the point. Where, so it's like, now I'm cool, you know, like I'm older, I'm like more calm, I'm more zen, you know. But that's why I be looking at some young people, younger people, and I probably gotta look at their age and be like, okay, now I, Now I see, you know, I can see how you start to calm down or whatever, but I don't know. So with the Steve Harvey thing, this is what I'm saying. First off, when Monique was doing this, she was saying that she's standing up for women. Like she's standing up for women to be able to have those things. And I see what she's saying as far as like what we have and what we don't have. Because what's happened is it's like people have these large amounts of money and we cannot tell them what to do with the money you know like they get the money and they get a nice house they get cars they get like you know fame and fortune and they keep going and doing what they have to do and in the end it's still what's what's being created is class systems and different things like that it's not as far as like um it's not something that's being created where you tell me, okay, I went back and I, I helped the school. Or I went back and I did this. I went back and I did that. And, you know, like the first, for me, that's why Chance the Rapper is like going to always be one of my, because the first thing he did when he got his first, when he got millions or whatever, he helped his community. 
I feel like he had a chance to help his community because his community welcomed him like that. You know, everybody's community is not welcoming, first of all. So we dealing with situations, and that's that's why the Floyd Mayweather and the whole T.I. and 50 Cent thing is really important, too. Because it's so many situations within our own community that we have to fix. And then we outside, like, trying to discuss all this stuff that's going on because we don't really have the platform to discuss it on our own you understand like it's like we don't have that 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 network to discuss these things the way we gotta really discuss them so the first thing is like as far as Nick and Monique and um and Steve Harvey go I understand that you have to play the game I really do but I see what Monique is saying too some of us can play the game. Some of us can be play game players all day. We can manipulate and maximize and move around and talk shit and be above whatever is going on. Not really above it, but just like manipulate whatever is going on. Some of us can and mostly men because that's what they do. Men can do that. But women come from a different source of something because I can't just be lying all day. And for the rest of my life, like, it's just, like, something I can't do that is just not part of my personality. So, I get where Monique is coming from, and that's the part that people got to understand. When she is saying the integrity and uh, the pain, like, and where she's coming from and what she's trying to give, that's something different. Because it's, like, almost like you faking yourself out. Like, I don't want to fake it for these people and say that I'm something that I'm not. And I don't want to do that. Like, it's like, I don't want to go through my life just, okay, I'm going to fake it today. I'm going to fake it to make it. And it's like, I hear you, but I would rather just be my real self and make it. I don't want to fake it and make it. I want to actually be me and make it. I don't want to have to like, okay, put on a front, put on a show. When somebody says something to me that's that's disrespectful or somebody does something to me that's disrespectful, like, why do I have to give you a show? The show is not for you. It's not for me to give to you. I have nothing to give to you except for, I don't know. It, it's like, I don't, I don't owe that to people, but that's something I give. You know, I don't know how to put it. It's like, I don't owe you um I don't owe you anything really right but if I'm interacting with you I do owe it to myself to be honest with myself because when I walk away I want to feel like okay I I said something that was true I said something that was wonderful to 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 truth right you know what I'm saying so I don't know like today I got asked do I like Twizzlers I don't I really don't I, I mean I like them I eat them but I prefer red vines, you know. And when she asked me, I just didn't want to tell her. Like, it's just like, why would she ask me that? Like, she seen me eat them, so why the fuck would she ask me, you know? Like, I'm going back and forth for them. Why are you asking me? Not to say I don't want to look at her and say, why the fuck? I just went ahead and went on with the conversation as if it was okay, you know? Because it was. Because I ate them, you know? I eat them. They're not my favorite. I eat them, you know? So... Who knows? Anyway, I but it's still it, you see it just like little things like that just bother me because it's like oh my god that wasn't the total everything you know like yeah I eat them but they are not my favorite and then also I was like why why does it matter which ones I eat anyway does that really matter you know I'm I'm just a red vines fan I fucking love me some fucking red vines you know but twizzlers were out today they they were already cut and little they were so good Aww. they were good I haven't had them in a long time so anyway I get to this point too now let's talk about the whole they mean I don't even want to I see where Floyd Mayweather is coming from, and I also see where the other people come from. And the part that people trying to skip is Dapper Dan is a designer of Gucci, a part of Gucci. And he said people dropped him when he wasn't part of Gucci anymore. When he tried to go out and make his own line, people dropped him. So instead of supporting Dapper Dan, they just kept going to Gucci. And forgot all about Dapper Dan. Why? 
that's what people not looking at that Floyd Mayweather saying. And that's where he like, no, I was I was still supporting the man that was making the Gucci. So then when he got Gucci back, when he got back with Gucci, he said that's when everybody went back and started buying Gucci. I don't know nothing about no labels. Like, I ain't into labels at all. Like, it ain't even, if it's something I bought, and I see that it's like a label, I mean, if it's nice, it's nice. If it's not, it's not. But yeah, it's like, we got to start looking at this stuff and saying, okay, how did, how can we build a community where we buy from each other but even even so like let's say you want to sell glasses you still got to buy from the same overall company that sell all the glasses because it's only it's owned by one person just like the fruits and vegetables in dallas you have to still get get on a delivery list for the same because they 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 deliver the same fruit and vegetable truck deliver to everybody they don't deliver to just one person uh, the people at Central Market, all the stuff that they get that's like different and all this different stuff, it's only one vendor for that stuff. You see, I'm no, it's a no, it's a few vendors. Okay, so this is what I learned. I took the business class, so I did research on Central Market. All the fruits and vegetables come from the same vendor, but like when you get specialty things or whatever, they come from different vendors. So that's a market that a person can tap into, but the fruit and vegetable market you can't really tap into because they've already, uh, the vendors already have that in place you see i'm saying the vendor for fruits and vegetables already has that in place so those are the kind of things that we have to find out first before we start moving and and thinking and grooving and different like that and that's what floyd mayweather was saying so it's like it's like so many of us are so ready to jump down each other's throat but we not able like we not listening and learning from each other so everybody i saw on his post as soon as he say something everybody talking about he didn't write it he can't read he can't spell all this different stuff when i look at my post you would think that i wasn't a writer like you would be like oh my god this girl ain't no writer she can't speak i've been spelling all my whole life i love spelling i love to read you know i all i love all this stuff but then you look at my post it's like i ain't i can't write shit i can't spell you know who knows because the phone fucking up the whatever you know all this different stuff you can't do instagram on the phone you you know you tweet i don't know how you do it so anyway for whatever reason some shit get fucked up it gets you know, I pretty I'm pretty sure I check it before I send it out. Um, anyway, it'll still go out and it'll still be fucked up. Like, oh God. Like something is always wrong. So that's good. I mean, I don't know if he wrote it or not, but what he was saying were it was all facts. So the first thing is we can boycott, but we still and these these are men with money who always saying that they and you got people around you that can help you with these things. So it's like you first got to figure out where it's coming from. Like who, um, Russell Brand said that. What's the source? You know, where's the source or whatever? What's happening, right? Then we got to figure out who the vendors are and all this different stuff. And how we get to start to buy that, get that from black vendors. And we don't own, like it's like right now, we don't own enough to um, build those relationships with people where we can understand and have those companies and different things like that places where we go and get those products from because it's still important we still need clothes we still need shoes we still need food sugar corn rice you know whatever else you eat vegetables you know so it's like we gotta start to figure that out and you gotta start to learn how your economic system work around you before you start trying to say everything is is not everything it's what's happening right now both sizes are doing this are saying something but nobody wants to listen you don't want to listen to each other but it's important to listen to each other because just boycotting i don't know the boycott could work it's in my mind i'm thinking the boycott could work but if the person don't know about the boycott if it's not enough information about the boycott that's going out if we not you know heading off with the boycott and we not silently not doing you know like it's like so many different things like that we that like people didn't go to work and all this different stuff and then people um i didn't know about it i mean i don't know one day a whole lot of hispanic people didn't come to work i was like damn you know they didn't come to work and when nobody talking i'm just like what the hell is going on you know